Welcome back to another Robo CNC video. I'm Marcel. Um, a company named Arcade Classics contact, contacted me uh, for some awesome acrylic work. They are specialized in making luxury uh, arcade machines and they wanted to make a Star Wars themed arcade machine. So in this machine there was need for some 2D engraved acrylic but also for some 3D engraved acrylic. So let's hop into the project and uh, get busy. The acrylic you see here is 4mm thick cast acrylic. This higher quality acrylic is used to prevent chip weld. Air is used for blowing away the chips and cooling the cutter. And the brush is used to prevent the protective foil to clog up onto the end mill, just to be sure. The engraving is done by a 2mm two-fluted carbide end mill with a feed of 1 meter per minute. This could be done much quicker since we're only cutting a half of a millimeter deep, but I do not want to take the risk of losing steps and ruining a nice piece of acrylic. Because yes, that happens to me too. The reason for this shallow engraving is just to scratch up the material. This panel will be edge lit, as we say, so LEDs will shine their light into the edge of the material, traveling through the glass-like structure until it bounces up to the engraved lines. This results in a glass-like panel with only the engraving emitting the colored light. The holes that will be used for the arcade controls are contour cutaway with a solid carbide 6mm 3 fluted end mill, taking it slow at only 500mm a minute and going down in 3 passes. The last step for the 2D engraving is the text. This is done with the 1mm end mill. Again, with an engraving like this you do not need nor want to go deep into the material. For the engraving I use a strategy with straight lines instead of a contour path. In my experience this gives a much cleaner result in acrylic. Time to peel off the protective layer and have a look at the result. control panel is done and I think it's awesome. For the sides of the machine the customer wanted something like this. At first we started with an image of Darth Vader but that would require a laser. So next we acquired this grayscale. Basically this image is a depth map and each pixel will tell us how deep to engrave the image. White will be the deepest pixel and black will not be engraved at all. Before cutting the actual piece we can simulate the result in the CNC software. So the real CNC machining is not as quick as the simulation, but still this 3mm ball nose cutter is traveling at 1200mm a minute at a maximum depth of 4.5mm deep. When using a 3mm ball nose and a 10% step over I can achieve the result that we've seen in the simulation. This means the cutter does passes in 10% increments of the cutter diameter. So 10% of 3mm 
is 0.3 mm every pass. Before I get all the questions again, with the dust shoe on the machine I can hardly film this project, so that's why I have to clean the snow afterwards. And to be honest, it's kind of fun. So if you like this result already, wait till you see the next images of the finished project, the arcade machine. Okay, special thanks to Klaas Alvarez from Arcade Classics uh, for providing these images. Uh, if you want more information about an arcade machine like this or want to own your own one, uh, go to www.arcadeclassics.nl Thanks for watching.